I would have to say that Greg is very focused and very determined. Um, but he's that way in sports. He learns the rules and he gives 180% when he does something, especially if he really likes it. And he's talked about doing the marathon for quite a few years, but I kind of thought, oh, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. So never really pursued it. And then he started taking off running. I was, and I can't even think of her name at Special Olympics. She used to say to Greg, you need to run long distance Megan. more than the Megan. She kept saying, you can run. She says, you've got the gate. You can do it. So when we switched to the two miles and then he ran a 5K and then he did a half marathon with his sister, he goes, I can do it. I want to run the marathon. So that's when I made the phone call to find out if it was a doable thing. And from there, he's been very dedicated to practicing, and he runs out of seven days, five days during the week. Um, he's running his long distance right now is 11 miles, and um, he's been doing really well. Greg has had a vision issue. Um, he was diagnosed with amblyopia when he was in kindergarten, and for two years, his eye was patched. But every time the patch came off, his eye still would wander outward. And so after patching for two plus years, the ophthalmologist at Children's said, you know, we'll just monitor. So, and of course, it changes at Children's. And um, when he was, I want to say, oh my gosh, <laughs> early 20s, um, he had an an eye appointment there and the you know she was asking about what he's doing in his life and that this ophthalmologist and I well, I told him he was you know working and he'll be getting out of his program and then he, hopefully you know he'll be able to work full time with his job and so she says well he's going to need the surgery so that he will be accepted by society and I told her well I don't do surgery for that reason <laughs> because it's high risk because you got to be put under and that and he's a high risk to be put under anesthesia and um, I asked for information about the surgery and she said she was too busy and I needed to talk to the nurse and we paid, played telephone tag and um, in June at the Harvard where they did the, the I guess it was the springtime it was at the summer games for uh, Special Olympics they had an, an eye screening there and so I said to Greg, you're coming with me. We're going to go get this done. And um, he came and there was numerous students studying that kept coming and asking all kinds of questions and checking out because they realized he can't really see much out of his left eye. And they brought the doctor over and the doctor said to me that didn't anybody ever tell me that if your eye continues to wander outward, the brain of shuts down use of it and you eventually go blind and that's what happened. So if he would have had the surgery when he was much younger, he wouldn't have lost as much vision. You can tell that they're, are they going to be able to do the job? Can they do this? Can we let them be on their own? And you know, they always have to prove themselves. They're constantly trying to prove themselves. And I think um, he's proved that he can do many things and um, because he wants to do it. And I, you know, have to give him a lot of credit for that. That's something that's part of his personality. That's what makes, what makes Greg kind of unique. So and stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have that stubbornness in there, too. <laughs> He's good at hugs. <laughs>